week of Trinity 13, the times when Jesus purposely delays. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am feeble. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Psalm 6, verses 2 and 3. Dearly beloved, surely this is a faithful prayer of an afflicted soul whose troubles are both physical and spiritual. The cry is for mercy in the midst of chastisement. The plea is for deliverance. This soul waits on and trusts in the Lord. As the affliction continues, the question is asked, O Lord, how long? Certainly, during such times, the soul prays to and wrestles with God. The faithful understand that God has a plan and that what he wills and allows according to his time and purpose is best. The Lord knows best and has promised deliverance. Yet it is difficult to keep that focus while suffering and waiting, especially when it seems that the Lord is tarrying. Lazarus was seriously sick with some life-threatening illness. Jesus was not in the area. Mary and Martha sent word to the Lord. Therefore the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. When Jesus heard it, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When, therefore, he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. John 11, verses 3 through 6. Notice the love of God. Lazarus was loved by Jesus, as were his sisters. God the Father loved the world and gave his Son as the sacrifice to reconcile all people. God especially loves those in whom the Holy Spirit has done his work through the word of grace. These belong to Jesus and follow him. They trust in him and commend their lives into his nail-pierced hands. It is life in the holy wounds of Christ. It is life by way of the cross and the tomb that does not appeal to the Christian's old sinful nature. Nevertheless, the disciple of Jesus lives the baptized life, crucifying the flesh and being cleansed of all sins. This is the crucified life that waits on the Lord. Keep this in mind as you consider the scripture that is written for us. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When, therefore, he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. Jesus purposely delayed when he could have returned immediately to be at the bedside of the sick man. He didn't. He delayed. Why? It was for the glory of God that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Lazarus would not be visited by Jesus. The sickness would not be taken away, but would be allowed to run its course without a pastoral visit by our Redeemer. Will Lazarus make it through his illness and give all glory to God for his recovery? Or is Lazarus on his deathbed? Perhaps you know the answer. So let's take another application. Will you make it through your next sickness or even through this day? Or will you be on your deathbed? Very likely you don't know. God does. Perhaps if you are in the last stages of cancer, you do know that you will soon depart this life. No matter either way. Prayer. O Lord, how long? O Lord, May my life and death be for the glory of God, that Jesus may be glorified. Amen. Hymn number 594, stanzas 2 and 5. My sins, dear Lord, disturb me sore. My conscience cannot slumber. But though as sands upon the shore, my sins may be in number. I will not quail, but think of thee, thy death, thy sorrow, born for me. Thy sufferings shall uphold me. My spirit I commend to thee, and gladly hence betake me. 
Peaceful and calm my sleep shall be. No human voice can wake me. But Christ is with me through the strife, and he will bear me into life and open heaven before me.